FLT3 um, is one of the co most commonly mutated genes in AML. It's occurring in roughly 20 to 30 percent um, across mostly in the diploid carrier type, so the diploid cytogenetic AML patients, but we also have seen it in the relapse refractory setting as well as with other cytogenetic or chromosomal abnormalities. And I think the exciting part is that we have several first, second, but also now th almost third generation FLT3 inhibitors in the clinic. And all of those have shown some good results. So there's FLT3 is a target in AML. We have several drugs available, and we have results from clinical trials, which are exciting. The way I distinguish that, or it, the approach to FLT3 inhibition in AML, is in the upfront setting, together with chemotherapy, cytotoxic chemotherapy. And it has been shown with, for example, serafinib, which was originally approved for other solid cancers, that serafinib added to chemotherapy can achieve very high response rates, up to 90, even 100% in some of the initial trials. So serafinib is a rather weak FLT3 inhibitor. So there has been a recent trial at the recent ASH meeting presented and an update at ASCO, the RATIFY trial, which uses metastorin or PKC412 added to chemotherapy in FLT3 positive patients. FLT3 ITD as well as FLT3 um, tyrosine kinase or TKD domain mutated patients. And this was a positive trial. It was a large international collaboration where patients were screened based on a biomarker, the biomarker being FLT3, and then enrolled into the trial. And the results were positive. In terms of the CR and CRI rates were higher, as well as the overall survival was significantly higher in patients that received metastorin versus patients that received chemotherapy alone. So this is the first biomarker mutation targeted large trial in AML that showed a positive overall survival benefit.